Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Okay, so I don't, I don't know if y'all can tell, but anyway, I just moisturized my hair, my hair because I'm getting ready to get a sewing today. Yeah, it's really greasy. Well, it's not too oily, but you know, you can't even tell on camera. But um, I had, I just blew it out just a little bit, and you can kind of tell. Um, so like before, my ends were, I don't know why the side is curling, but whatever. So before my ends were literally like I had strangly ones down to like here and here and he like it was just really really scraggly and even in the back I had pieces that were like this long. So it off honestly about two inches off my hair but it was like in the most random places so now in person it looks much better. It actually looks like a bob um, which is not even what I was going for. Let's just make it even and call it a day. I'm really not picky. I mean this is just I'm, I'm not picky about my hair at all i should be but i'm really not so yeah anyway right now i'm just waiting it is 12 like 30 right now and my appointment was for 11 30 um for my hair and uh so when i first got there um i was just waiting outside i called the girl now here's the thing the reason why i got the trim yesterday is because she told me to come uh tomorrow she was like well i'm not gonna be here today and I made this appointment like a week ago. When I first got here, I saw a sign. And then I saw the girl on Instagram. No, I saw her on Instagram first. I passed by, saw her sign and everything um, for the little shop. And she does really good work. And she works from home and the shop. So the shop was actually closer to me than the entire house. She lives on the north side. The uh, shop is in the... Like, it's in closer to the north, but it's only like a 12-minute ride for me, so it's not far. If I would have gone all the way to her home by like Lake Line, it would have been like a 20-minute, probably like a 22-minute ride for me. So I, this one sounded way better than that. Uh, anyway, I made my appointment. Yesterday, I had an appointment for 2 o'clock. I called her 30 minutes, well, I texted her 30 minutes before to let her know, hey, I'm on the way, no text message, nothing. I called her because even, like, it was me as a hairstylist, usually I'll just, like, people would just show up. They know we have an appointment that day, so they'll just show up. Um, so I had no problem just doing that. I was going to do that. But then, you know, but I didn't. I actually called. She wasn't answering. Then at 2.30, she calls me, and then she's like, hey, um, I'm not going to be able to make it. And so she said, I actually have an opening for tomorrow. And she was like, I'll take off like $15 for the inconvenience or whatever. So I told her, okay, it's fine. You know, I, here's the thing, guys. I really just wanted to get a sew-in for the New Year's. That was it. So whatever she can do is fine. And I really wanted her. So this morning, I showed up uh, 15 minutes before. I called her. I texted her. She did not answer. But I was like, well, you know, maybe her phone is dying. Because I do hair too. And sometimes I'll wake up in the morning. I have an appointment, but my phone is like dead or something. And they'll just show up. Or I'll call them and be like, hey, you know, sorry about that. My phone was dead. Something like that. So I'm just like, whatever. You know, I don't think that she's going to cancel on me twice, right? So uh, I got there. My appointment was for, I think, yeah, I think I said it was like, it was 1130. I got there at like 1110. Um, just because I wanted to beat the um, 12 p.m. traffic. And then I... Is that her? No. Okay. Well, more like the 11 to 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock lunchtime traffic. I was just trying to beat that. So I got there a little bit early. No traffic. I was good. Anyway, I get there and, um, you know, I wait. I wait 30 minutes. At this point, it was like 1140. I don't hear from her. Then I go into the shop, and there's only two girls working, so I ask them, hey, is she here? And they said, oh, she was here earlier, but she left again to go get supplies. And I said, okay, well, I've been calling her, and I've been texting her, and at this point, it's like 11.50, and she still hasn't. And they said, oh, just wait, okay? So, like I said, guys, it's about, like, 12.40 uh, right now, and this girl, it's been over an hour, and she has not wrote me back like nothing she still hasn't showed up at the shop she was there earlier but she left knowing that she had an appointment with me i called them before i showed up and i said hey you know what i'm saying like i even i got my hair i'm just gonna try this hair out that i was sent to review but um i mean i've seen a lot of good reviews on it um so this is what and this looks kind of bad but i have to fix these these are just my clip-ins i always do like half clips i need to fix it but it's they're good they're really cute clip-ins I always do like clippings at the top and then at the bottom I always do like a half sewing. So I'll do the sewing up to here on both sides and I'll just leave that large portion so that I can do the clippings or middle part or whatever. 
And then I've already like pre-washed my hair. This is just, I have four bundles. This is an extra bundle that she can use if she wants to, but um, yeah, and I even bought a closure because she was telling me, well, once you get here, um, you know, she already like bleached it and everything like that. I did a light bleach because I was scared that it was gonna start coming off. But yeah, I've got everything pretty much ready for today because I'm ready. And um, and she's very reasonable. She charges one, um, like 15 to 130 for just like a simple sew-in. And her work is like really neat. And I saw people on Instagram saying they really liked her work. So um, when I was sitting outside, one of the girls offered to she was like well i should be done with my client in about 40 minutes uh to an hour and she said you know you can come back and i'll do it if she's not here and i was like okay so right now i'm waiting outside here's the thing when i have my mind set on something like i really don't want somebody else to do it like i know that somebody else could obviously do the girl's job like come on it's just a hair it's just a sew in but it's like she's who i wanted and i don't want to get my hair done by somebody else simply because she wasn't available like i liked i haven't and then when i asked the other girl like I, I felt weird asking her hey can i see your instagram because she was just doing like a press and curl and then she was going to do the ladies um whose hair she was doing she was going to do her daughter's hair afterwards but it was just a little girl and it was just like a quick wash and blow out and um so yeah right now i'm waiting i said i was gonna wait until one o'clock so i have about 20 more minutes and if she's not gonna do my hair then i'm literally just gonna turn around go back home i know exactly how i want it parted i know exactly how much hair i want out like even i even bought my comb so that like when i get there i can just like part it off for her and she can see what i want um so it's not confusing it's really simple what i want but yeah and then on top of that, she was going to give me a discount. So my sew-on would only be like 100 bucks flat pretty much um, for my sew-in. I'm just a little bit frustrated because it's kind of annoying. Like yesterday, you know. And then on top of that, like I really wanted to dye my hair because the sun dyes it whenever... Um, like the summertime, whenever my, I leave my real hair out, the sun pretty much dyes it this brown color and I really want my hair to be black like my shirt I really want it to be really black so um that's another reason why I was going to get a sewing so that I could cover up that and I was just going to dye like the top of my hair um okay that part was trimmed I was just trying to share uh I was going to dye the top of my hair like jet black you know so that it could match this this hair I think the dye is kind of wearing off of it a little bit because it's getting lighter but it definitely like this hair doesn't really match this one that well it may it matches it okay but it's not really what i'm happy with so yeah guys that's what's going on this morning i am just literally trying to get a sewing by the person that i want and but i also have other things i need to get done today i need to go to my credit union okay so let me tell you about this morning today has just been one of those days that's like so yeah, this morning I made a list. I was very motivated. I was like, you know what? I'm going to tackle these things. I'm one of those people, I literally run from my problems. I feel like if I just run from it, it'll go away and it doesn't. It actually gets worse. And I end up literally paying for it, whether it's financially or whatever. You know what I'm saying? In life, <laughs> I end up paying for it. So I made a list. I called my school because I want to do the spring semester, but there are a few things I need to do. I paid half. I still owe $500, but I need to pay rent car insurance, light bill, all that this month, so I'm just going to wait um, for that. Then, I um, I called the screening place because I wanted to do another study in San Antonio because I really, like, that's how I pay for, like, obviously YouTube is okay, but it doesn't cover that much because um, I don't work hard enough, <laughs> but whatever. I have to pay a lot of fees, so I went to go do a screening at uh worldwide in san antonio so i called them they had a study for like three thousand it was like six days and they had nine outpatients but the outpatients were in austin so i was like oh fuck let me do that one so i don't have to keep driving back and forth i called them and they said oh you're on probation until june because you had a no call no show and that was a lie like you guys saw the vlog last week on monday where i actually showed up there i did not like it so i left and i told them hey can you sign me out because i don't want to do the study it's 80 pills i'm good so I had to, oh, this morning I called like four or five people. I finally got the guy on the phone, the recruiter, and he ended up updating my profile so now I can screen for studies again. Then when I went to go call them back to screen, 
she said, oh, it's a certain one. So I was like, oh, no, I would not qualify. So I can't do the study anyway. But, yeah, it was just really up and down. When they told me I couldn't do another study until June, like, my stomach dropped. I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh, fuck no. Like, come the fuck on. Please don't do this to me. So the good thing is that now I can go back to doing studies. And it was like, he, he put me down as a no call. I told him I'm leaving because I don't want to do this. And they, so you guys got to watch out for that. Make sure that they, you know, sign you out the right way because of the fuckers. Ooh. So, yeah, I was just worried. I was like, fuck, you know, I need extra money for the new year. Then, um, well, my school, she ended up telling me I had, like, three, four holds on my account. I needed to turn in some different transcripts. Even though I did go to school this January, I still needed, like, they were just doing that for temporary, but I really needed, like, hardcore transcripts. So, well, she said she'll take my unofficial and something else, so I'm good on that. Guys, it is cold. Like, it is fucking 50 degrees outside. It's actually cold in Texas. Then, the second thing that ended up happening is with my car and my car insurance. I am actually headed over to the credit union where I got my loan at to go talk to these motherfuckers because, once again, they're doing that bullshit where they are saying that I don't have insurance. So, I'm going to go show proof of my insurance so I can go get it updated. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Um, it's just really frustrating. And they've charged me about 2000 something dollars over. So all they're going to do is apply it to my loan like they always do. I wish that they would just give me cash because, like, this is fucking ridiculous. And then I want to see about getting refinancing or something because something needs to be done. I, I really am unhappy with this deal. <laughs> so I'm going to see about that. I highly doubt it. I'm still letting my eyebrows grow out. I could have combed them this morning, though, but... When I was applying my makeup, like, it kind of, like, brushed it down, but I didn't even brush it back up, because I don't do my eyebrows. Ooh. And the foundation makes it look even more, like, lighter than they are, but whatever. So, yeah, guys, that was pretty much my thing for today. I'm still waiting to get my hair done. Um, now I can screen back at San Antonio. Um, I fixed my school I'm working on fixing my things for school school starts back on January 17th and I know that a lot of the classes will be filled up by then so I really want to try to get an early pay um you know whatever just in case anything drops um I need to make sure I'm gonna have the other $500 for these people soon and then on top of that like um yeah I won't even be able to go to school if I don't get everything turned in so that shit needs to be done like this week honestly well at least by the third so yeah and then on top of that you know just like my car my insurance like that's been really freaking bugging me and I have some sponsorships to do that need to be done like ASAP so last night I was up until like two o'clock in the morning guys like answering emails and just going back and forth getting the address secured um and everything just god so much was due yeah, that I had just been kind of, like, ignoring and stuff that I really needed to just get to. So, yeah, like, guys, the point of this is just face your problems. If you guys have something serious that's been lurking on you, don't ignore it. Whether it's your taxes, whether it's your car note, like, I'm just one of those people, like, I really just, like, let go and let God. But you take the first step and then God will take the next. So you have to really just, like, you know, I, I really hate to get all religious on y'all, but I'm just telling you the truth, like... You really cannot ignore shit because if you ignore shit, it piles up and it ends up biting you in the ass, like seriously. So that's what is going on with me right now. I'm still waiting. Uh, I've been talking for about f literally 15 minutes, so I'm going to get up and go. And I'm probably going to end up doing my own sewing, even though it would have been nice to kind of just like sit and let somebody like do something to my hair. Um, It's fine. She still hasn't called me. It's like at least get somebody like a fucking courtesy call or a courtesy text message like I understand that you're really popular you finally had an opening and it just so happened to be that day and she did give me a discount but it's like let a bitch know what's the worst that's gonna happen if you warn somebody that you can't make it like what is the worst that's gonna happen nothing I can't do nothing so yeah this is my checklist for everything that needs to be done so let me cross that out. Oops. For the screening because I can't even do that study. And then it says, yep, yeah, so I'm going to call them. I need, yep, yeah, there we go. That's the last place to call. 
And the crazy thing with my car um, loan place is that they gave me two freaking loans. Like, I bought two cars that end within a week. How is that even legal? I can't wait till I do the story time. It's going to be crazy because this guy over here, he is freaking hilarious. He's always doing, like, backflips and just whatever. All right, I just left the bank. I got one of those little um, lollipops. It has a little L on it. Oh, this is the last L that I'm gonna take this year. I went up there and all they did was give me an email. <clears throat> last time they gave me a fax number. Oh, like, great. They always do this bullshit. Like, literally will like go off. Like, hurry the fuck up. I, wh why are you walking so fucking slow? And you have on shorts. And it's cold outside. Anyway, I did all that just for them to give me an email. I'm going back home so that I don't try to go out to eat. I mean, I honestly, I hate every single restaurant in this neighborhood that's like, I like, well, except for Raising Cane's. But I have a feeling that this neighborhood will find a way to fuck up Raising Cane's somehow. Even though that's like the best place on earth and it's always fresh and it's always hot and it's always crispy and it's always juicy. Like that, this area, they will find a way to fuck it up. But, um. Yeah, she's still, it is after one. She never wrote me. She never called me. The girl was, I, I called up to the shop and the other girl actually answered, but she was still like, still just started on other girl's hair. So I'm about to go on about my day and I will try again next week, probably. Well, if I don't do my sewing, I'll make an appointment somewhere else. Cause I have another girl in mind, um, whose work I saw on Instagram and I actually reached out to her but she's full this entire weekend because it's New Year's so and obviously today is Friday like every hairstylist is busy right now even during the day so here's the thing about me you guys I really don't care that much about New Year's like I probably will hype it all up and then not do shit you know I'll just be sleeping so that's why I really don't care but I kind of wanted to have like my hair done for the New Year now um I was kind of thinking about getting some cute goddess locks or something, like some fat, chunky ones all over my head, but I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll see. I used to be so scared because my mom always had these cars that didn't really work very well. You know, they were pretty old, and sometimes when we would be going up the hill, I would be having anxiety because the car would kind of like slip backwards a little bit, and I would just go crazy. And I would be thinking that we were going to die. And I would be like, Mom, why can't you just afford a new car? You know what I'm saying? Like, so now I have this crazy phobia of buying, like, an old car. And it sucks. Like, it really sucks because I'm just so scared that, you know, it's going to end up happening to me. I'm going to get stranded and stuck. And nobody's going to be there to help me. Like, I'm literally so scared of that. But, <sighs> not everything I know it's not even like that that's like the crazy part it's like come on junior like come back to your senses you know it's not gonna be like that just get you a older car like fuck it whatever and the craziest thing is that I just drove back to the house and I did not use my GPS guys Woohoo! okay getting ready to go in there so I'll finish when I get back home Hey guys, so I'm just cooking tonight. I have a chicken breast that I'm gonna cut in half, a bell pepper and onion with potatoes. So I'm gonna cook the potatoes first, then um, halfway in I'll throw in the chicken. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna cut them up and make some smothered type of potatoes. Uh, season it with oil, then I'll add these in a little bit later so that they don't get too soggy. All right guys, it's all cooking out and it looks really, really good and it smells even better. I got the bell peppers, the onions, and I seasoned it, and I added water and um, some seasoning. I was watching Married to Medicine Houston, and now some movie just came out, so I'm probably going to end up changing that. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this stuff smells, oh my gosh. I put the garlic powder, salt, pepper, and they're very simple seasoning, um, just so I can have a meal for today and tomorrow that's already done really good the potatoes are getting nice and tender and soon I'm gonna stir fry in the chicken breast I'm gonna just season the stuff a little bit more but yeah the potatoes are getting a little bit shallow 
and smell it. It looks purple. The stomach. But yeah, I have it on a six temperature right now, so. I wonder if any these pieces are ready. Like, guys, I am so freaking hungry. Like, I can't even help myself. I am hungry. So I'm just looking at my diary pages and somebody was saying like, oh, they wanted to start a diary and I think it's such a good idea. Like, this one is December 31st, 2003. This is pretty much like exactly, today's the 30th, but you know what I mean? I know exactly what I was doing around this time of year. What is it? Like 14, like 13, 14 years ago. And it just feels good. Like this one, and I even have diaries from like, <laughs> whoops, 2001. 2002, I knew exactly how my high school year went. This is my high school one from 2007. So, but I was also in high school 2008, 9, 10 and all that. But yeah, I know exactly what the fuck I was doing like this time around seven years ago. That's why it's so important to just keep one so that you can never, you know, forget. And a lot of my story times actually come from these, like, so that I can be pretty accurate whenever I'm talking. Okay, so I just finished it. It doesn't look really good, but <laughs> it really is good. It's just the uh, chicken breast and as you guys saw the potatoes and everything, but yeah. It's smoking right now and I'm watching Sex and the City. All I did was do a search, and it turns out he was playing the movie all night tonight, so looks like we're good. So yeah, guys, this is my little Friday night, and uh, I looked at my balcony, and everybody's walking outside, downstairs, and I'm just here. I posted um, a video story time on my main channel, so you guys can go check it out, and then I'm editing two vlogs. One is exporting right now. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to call this a night. I love you guys so much. I look crazy, so I'm not going to like show my face. But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a good night and are enjoying your Friday night. Tomorrow's New Year's. Yay. Yay.